All right, what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm doing a header tutorial somewhat. Um, I already got it started a little bit, but if you guys want to create a Twitter header or learn how to make a header, all you guys need to do is get Photoshop and watch this video. So anyways, you want to go to new and then you want to click on pixels and you want to do 1500 for the width by 500. This is the background. All right. So right here, I'm going to do folder, shift, all of it, folder, and I'm going to name it BG. All right, there we go. This one right here that I clicked on, the background copy 10, that is film grain. You can get it on Pinterest, uh, Google Images, anything. This is like halftone stars. You can find it anywhere. And then I put the American flag in here, but if you want to do black and white like I did, Go down here to this little like circle, and there's a bunch of these. You can go to black and white right here. You could change the hue of it or the color. So right there, we're going to turn all of that back on, and we have the text. I'm going to add these stars that I created by basically cutting them out and then just overlapping them or putting them together like that. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to do inner glow. And we're gonna do red. All right, so red inner glow. We are gonna do that. We're gonna change the size of it to something like this. We're gonna turn the noise off, and we're gonna do some outer glow red again to make it look somewhat neon. So now I want to copy that. Control J. And even for the text, I made copies. And if you don't have a copy, you're kind of out of luck if something goes wrong and you have to start all the way over and everything. So we're going to change the color overlay of these stars on the bottom part to red. And then what you want to do is you want to rasterize it. So then it does just that layer. Otherwise, it'll add the layer style to what you're already doing to it and this we go to motion blur we go to zero i'm gonna do like 257 and then i'm gonna control j control j so it looks like this and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna merge all of these so shift you have the top one selected shift to the bottom one merge layers and then I'm going to click this off, the chain thing, so then I can move it like this. But I'm actually going to use these other stocks that I grabbed beforehand. And so I'm going to duplicate and drag it over or duplicate it over to the header. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to take this selection tool right here on the left, quick selection tool. We're going to do this. And then we're going to zoom in and get the white parts. And honestly, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, you can make it look good kind of no matter what you do. And that's also why I love Photoshop. And I love doing this. I'm going to turn this to the right, I'm going to bring it over here, and I'm going to do it like this got a paper cut or something. We're going to go through these, see if anything looks good. Now, we're actually going to extend that out. And then, what I want to do is I'm going to do screen. Actually, we're going to do linear dodge. Alright, we're going to make this bigger so it pops out more behind the text just like this now I want to make it red but since it's on linear dodge what I have to do is create a new layer and take the red all right we're gonna do that find the brush tool we are gonna turn the hardness down and all you do is just do this all right you know, do it all simple and nice like that. Just go around it. Boom. 
Then what you want to do is you want to clip mask. It's going to look like that. But then if you go down here to overlay, boom. All right. Did all that. Turn the lightning red. And now, all right. So I'm going to take this A ball and I want it under the text. Probably. It's probably better that way. I want to put it in kind of a hidden spot like that. Same with this. Boom, we'll just put it right there. All right, so what I really wanna do is I wanna move that to right there. Just so the eight ball and the other PNGs show better. So then we have this. Perfect. And actually move this lightning and the clip mask up to get that. And honestly, I could merge those, but we're not gonna do that yet. I... We'll do top and bottom. And actually we're gonna flip vertical and do it like this. That looks fine to me. So now we have these paper cuts or paper cut like uh, barcode. And honestly, I'm gonna just do screen with it. Um, we could do linear dodge, I like that. So we're actually gonna make another copy and we're gonna go down below with it. Just to make things like shout at you. I can do shading black all around it, make it darker, and I will even get into CC or color corrections in a little bit. Um, there's preset ones you can find on YouTube or in other people's like graphics pack. I can show you how to like make your own and adjust it to whatever you want. I need this behind the text again. And of course it doesn't move it all the way to the bottom. So we are gonna move it all the way to the bottom and we are going to rotate it control J and then flip horizontally and we're going to do it to this side all right so now that we have those two guns right there chose to do it like this anyways I'm going to put this on difference and we are going to put it right here I'm a rock with difference. I like that. I'm gonna just keep it like that. We're gonna do, put that there. And let's see, honestly, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do overlay. I'm gonna do black. And then, yeah, overlay. So then we still have that white cutout piece, right? And we don't need to rasterize these layers yet, just because you don't really need to. I'm going to do this, but this needs to be above these stars. I'm going to add some shading to the text, or try to some black around here you know make it dark and then above the background we are going to do the same thing but it's going to be all around and I don't know if I want to use the same font I could use all different fonts so I'm gonna actually do this font, make it bigger. And then what I could do is, all right, we're gonna put this at the top here. And you can add film grain, you can add texture to it, you can add anything to this. I'm actually make it smaller. All right, so you guys can see how it's turning out. It actually looks good. If you just look at it, we haven't even done anything to the text yet. T-text. 
for top text. All right. So let's turn that off. We have this. We have the shading right there. We have that. I kind of want to do some more shading just around here. You know, just get a nice feel kind of for it. And then the shading's right there. And then we have the overall all around shading, which makes it look good. All right, so I got them all transferred over. And so I really do want to use this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it out of the, the group. And let's see, I want it to be on the first G. So create clipping mask. And then we have this, all right? I do like that. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a layer style with it. And honestly, I don't want to do red outer glow because the stars are already red enough with the outer glow. So basically I'm gonna do this, probably make it bigger too. And now we go back up to here, find another one we like, I like this one. And I can even change it to red or whatever I want. And we are gonna do this on the first G. Give it some Chinese letter inside of it. And actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this layer style right here. And I'm gonna paste it onto the G, just like that. Boom, aluminum foil, just like that, just like such. You can legit use anything with these. And I could even change it up a lot, however I like it. I could make it all black and white. Um, which I might do just because I don't want, yeah. I'm gonna change this inner glow to black. Perfect. That just gives it more like depth. I'm gonna do that with the other G too. This one. We are gonna, we could just leave it off, but I'm gonna just do black in it. I'm gonna do a color overlay and it's gonna be overlay. And I'm gonna do like a gray. Turn this very down just to give it some film grain up top above all so i added some shading all right right here i did it below the text just to make the red fall out a bit same with right there and this is just to make it blend in and actually i'm gonna add some more around here i got some stars i got a star that i'm gonna duplicate and i got a color correction but I'm also going to make my own because I don't know if this seems fit. We'll do 68. See how that looks just by adding shading. That is what we need. So I have the stars. I'm going to do the stars later and the color correction like I said. Um, we're going to do this. So we want red and white. For, um, for these letters right here, and we're just gonna match them. So do some red right here, up and down, make it fit. And then we're gonna do some white on a new layer. Go right here, go right here, perfect. And now we just bring the brightness down. Now I'm gonna go into deep detail, but I'm gonna do it above this. And I'm gonna do some shading, more shading. We're gonna zoom in to get some better detail. We're gonna do that. We're gonna go around this, and then we're gonna do a sharp cut into that and actually after we do this we can go back in with white and highlight what we want to highlight so that's what I'm gonna do now 
and we can set this on overlay. So we want that to shine maybe right here, maybe the eight, and then that domino. And then we want that domino right there, this card right there, the rows and maybe that card and right there, just some highlight and then that eight ball right there. All right, so now we're gonna get started on the stars. It's somewhat hard to to position stars perfectly unless you like zoom in and you can really fit it. It's a lot of zooming in and out just to perfect stars. Usually people like to put them on the the layer or the the stroke or the outer layer. And it gives it that nice bling look and actually this big star we can definitely turn down to that. This is what we're looking at with a CC or a color correction on it, but I'm gonna do my own. And as you can see in this group, there's vibrance levels, exposure, color balance, curves. So what I'm gonna do here is you can put on curves and then do auto, auto brightens it. Let's go to levels, you can auto it get that and then you can also do a photo filter if you want but we might just stay away from that right now I do kinda like that look right there that looks somewhat nice right there so what we could do is we could go to hue and saturation you could turn up the saturation. Let's say to 30. And then we have this. Alright. So here's my own CC. You can add more to it, like the color balance, but I'm not going to. There's a difference between them. And actually, I'm going to rock with this one. But there's a few more things I need to add. I'm going to put the stars, or the particles in the stars group. And what do we have here? Alright, so this, I'm going to go to red. I'm going to make this bigger. And we can add this. Alright, some upper glow. Make it as big as you want unchain it and we could just spread this out center it like that and we have that so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the paper cuts and I'm gonna do some outer glow I might I want to do red but I'm gonna turn the opacity down like that 50% that's what I like we're gonna do it on this other one just like that I don't know if that's too much red I might do white on this side just to give it that differential on both sides. Actually, I might move this over so it doesn't look like it's taking up too much room. I'm gonna go make a new layer and I'm gonna go around this sucker again with all black. Let's drop it down to, we could do 50 or 35 because we still want like it to be bright. I like 50, we're gonna do this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of it, control J, and then merge it all. So then we have the outcome right here. That's what I meant. Trim. Go to image trim. All right. So now we have this. That's done. And if you guys have magic bolt looks, you can do a lot with it. Um, I'm going to use it right here. We can put the black on the outsides but 
I don't need it that big or that much of strength, so I'm going to do that. Can do light flex. Star filter gives it some boost, especially where you put the stars and all the light. I could do diffusion, but I'd want it red, which makes it pop more. Uh, film grain, don't want. And then we could do curves in this also, and the curves make it. I do like that, but I might leave it off. Actually, it does make it pop, but this is what pop does. I could add some 3D to it, and actually I'm going to make this only blue and or red and cyan. could go old black and white with this hue and saturation. I could change the color to whatever I want or feel necessary, but I'm not going to do that. I might just leave it at this. Um, I do like the light flex. It does look somewhat better with the red. I'll be honest. So I'm going to finish. And we have the perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, that's basically how you make a good. That's basically how you make a good header for Twitter. If you use Photoshop. Otherwise I don't know what to tell you guys. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. I'm going to be bringing more more videos or tutorials or even just more speed arts and I'm going to probably work on a pack for me myself and there's going to be free ones there's going to be ones that you need to pay for it just depends how much time and work I put into it how much effort or how rare the uh, stocks are that I use or if I created them or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and peace out.